Today is Friday, ruled by Venus, and that candle is pink, and it has symbols and angels that represent the planet of Venus, and to really harness that energy. If your cycle is irregular, that is your body calling out to you for to bring some balance, like something is out of whack. We as individuals that have incarnated with the womb, we have the responsibility to take upon ourselves to make sure that we are taking care of ourselves before we can even take care of our families. We hold on to energy and we store it in our womb. In ancient cultures, they would come together on the outskirts of town or the cities and all the women were in sync. They'll come together, sing, purge together, um, do rituals together, commune, have sisterhood. You know, you start start wherever you are. Just like, just like magic, up everyone minister ashley here this is a really quick video that i felt like i should be sharing it just came off the top of my head i know that i needed to do it about divine feminine energy in our uni so check this video out make sure you like share and subscribe divine ones a really quick ritual for the divine feminine so today is friday which is ruled by the divine feminine ruled by venus and this was the oracle card that came out for today from my i am that i am divine guidance cards Instead of using the store-bought items like Summer's Eve that is very toxic, um, has a lot of toxic chemicals, you can use something like this if you do not have the space for to build or have a uni throne, um, you can use something like this. Uh, sometimes even just running a hot bath of water with healing herbs and um, taking a spiritual bath. But sometimes, you know, you can't really get all the way in that region. Naturally, our bodies will alchemicalize and our pH will balance on its own. But sometimes, you know, it may just take a little bit longer than what we what we may want to um, to wait on nature. So something like this can can help speed along that process. Um, it also can be very therapeutic uh, sometimes, like I'm not going to show the actual part of this, but you know, sometimes um, this could even serve as a uni massage. And I have a egg for those that are familiar with uni eggs. Those can also serve as a uni massage, um, a healing, help to strengthen your pelvic floor. This could also too. Um, so anyways, you, you guys can research as far as like with uni techniques and everything like that. But I wanted to just show how the way I'm going to be using this. I actually have, um, haven't used one of these in like a number of years, but I felt led to go ahead and start using them again. So of course, when you are about to use any item, you want to bless it. So you can allow this to sit on your altar also um, maybe a little Florida water in um, a pot of water on a stove, very low temperature, allowing it to cleanse it, it um, allowing the item to be spiritually and physically cleansed. And then you want to hold it near your heart, near your uni, and set the intention for purification, for healing, for whatever you may want to use this for. And according to what herbs you want to use, what your intention is that you want to um, utilize the herbs. I'm going to be using this for, for healing and um, for pretty much for like healing and balance, bringing balance back to my body, to my uni. I will personally be using some roses, hyssop, and maybe a couple other herbs. And I will put it inside of one of my little tea bags seal it, steep it in um, a pot of water, allow that to cool, and then pour it in there. I don't want to actually put the herbs in there because some of the herbs can come through the holes right here. You don't want anything to uh, get trapped in your, in your uni and it could cause different types of problems, but you can always research the herbs that are best for your body, depending on where you are um, and what works best for you and what your intentions are. Like I've mentioned, naturally our bodies will cleanse itself. It will naturally happen regardless if it's after your cycle um, or after intercourse that your body will balance its own pH. You can intake foods that help to balance your, your pH um, in that region. 
uh, a holistic organic diet, um, a lot of fruits and vegetables, pineapple, yogurt, you know, different things to help to bring balance back into your into your uni. For the longest time, I did not know anything. I didn't know what a uni was. I didn't know anything about my reproductive system besides what I was taught in school. And you know, in school, they don't teach us about our cycle. They don't teach us about how sacred it is, um, how to really take care of your body. Uh, they have produced, men have produced these harsh products that are very harsh on that area um, from tampons, even like using pads because the chemicals that they use in these products are not good for our reproductive health. And it can cause a lot of health problems over the longevity of our cycle and even triggering early onset menopause. So really cherishing your uni is a practice not just with doing a physical cleanse like this, but as well as like your yoga practice, eating healthy, thinking healthy, allowing the body to naturally do what it does. Um, even with certain contraceptives, it can throw off our cycle. They can throw off our entire rest of our lives because um, you know our cycle is meant to do what it does. And if we hinder that, it can cause complications further down in our life. So I'm just giving some of this information. You guys, of course, go do your own research and really connect to the divine, to your ancestors, especially your divine feminine ancestors. And I felt led to do this during Leo season, which for me has always been connecting to my divine feminine ancestors. Our cycle by no means is a nasty <laughs> is nasty is a sin is a curse i have in my latest book i do speak a little bit about blood magic and the divine feminine and how precious our cycle is and how it has been demonized and how it is part of our magical practice if you do not want to insert anything in your uni you can take the empty tea bags, they have them like on Amazon and you can add your herbs, herbs inside of the tea bag, tie it off. And as you're filling up the bathtub with the water for your spiritual bath, for your uni bath, for your uni bath, you can toss in several of those tea bags with your herbal mixture and allow it to seep for a certain amount of time before you get in. Of course, leave your comments down below. You can share your techniques your whatever you may do for to help bring more balance into your uni balance into your life and whenever i see it say balance i'm referring to the uni i think about how we have our top half of our body and the bottom half of our body and the uni is pretty much in the middle and it's helping to keep us balanced in our lives balance um, from our emotional and our psychological balance in our physical lives so we have to bring that that balance in our bodies. So doing practices like this, performing practices like this, you can pair that with candles. I didn't even go into candles when I was doing that part of the video, but candles. Like here, if you can see back here, I have a candle and that is my weekly candle that I burn every Friday. And I have this, um, I have a candle video that's coming out. If you, it may already be up, depending on when you're watching this video. But I have a, I have seven candles, one for each day of the week and uh, corresponding sigils, um, angels, herbs, etc., as well as with colors because for colorology and using colors to help play into the energies of that day of the week. Today is Friday, ruled by Venus, and that candle is pink and it has symbols and angels that represent the planet of Venus and to really harness that energy. Um, on Fridays, besides just doing like a uni steam, you can also do glamour magic, charisma spells and rituals, anything that really deals with like attracting and being able to be in your divine feminine energy and not necessarily having to be in the divine masculine, like going out, doing this, doing that. You want to really work with your charisma and your magnetism and helping to balance your uni energy will definitely would definitely enhance your magnetism and that's one thing in this modern world they try to strip us of is our divine feminine energy being a human magnet 
through our charisma, through our intentions, through us working in the magical and divine realms. If we can balance our energy and if for, for men and for anybody, you know, your gut, gut is one, one thing, um, gut health, but also for women being the womb, bringing forth the fruit of life, that our uni is very important with anything that we may do and want to master in our lives. So bringing homeostasis there will definitely transform your viewpoints on life and your life altogether. According to what your body may need at the moment, uh, a little bit before your cycle, during your cycle and after your cycle, will, uh, you should cater to those specific phases um, with the proper diet that will help bring more nutrients and strength in your body, as well as you can um, create elixirs, uh, create smoothies or drinks that will help complement each one of those phases. If your cycle is irregular, that is your body calling out to you for to bring some balance. Like something is out of whack, either you're too stressed, either you have been stress eating or something's out of whack. So taking a, even this time frame when you are in your cycle or a little bit before or what, pretty much whenever you have the time, you know, you start start wherever you are and take the time out to track your cycle and see a pattern and ask your angels, your ancestors, your guides and your body, what do I need to bring more balance in my life? Because if my cycle is off, that means that something even more deeper is off because our cycle is also tied to our subconscious mind and how we view ourselves, our value. If we're not valuing our bodies, if we're not valuing our uni, then we are out of out of whack. Like we are attracting the wrong type of relationships, the wrong diet, um, the wrong people. We as individuals that have incarnated with the womb, we have the responsibility to take upon ourselves to make sure that we are taking care of ourselves before we can even take care of our families. We hold on to energy and we store it in our womb. We hold on to energies and we store it in our womb, whether it be pleasant memories and energies or it is detrimental to our overall well-being. We hold it and we store it. With practices like this, this allows us to let it go and bring in more welcoming energies and balanced and self-love. In ancient cultures, they would come together on the outskirts of town or the cities and all the women were in sync. They'll come together, sing, purge together, um, do rituals together, commune, have sisterhood. A lot of that has been stripped from our societies and we need to come together more with these types of practices. Whether you're doing it by yourself um, to start off with and then maybe go into a retreat one day. You know, you never know what it may bring into your life, what next steps that you may be led and guided to do when you have that clear mind and your body is clear to receive, to receive clear messages from the divine. If we're so caught up in the mundane, the day to day, eating bad, you know, all of that stuff really does play into our mental and it blocks our intuition. You can receive intuitive messages, but your, your body also is a living, a full living tool to receive messages from God. So if your body is out of whack and your sensitivity is off, then you will receive false messages, but also you probably won't even receive a lot of divine messages anyway. You're probably just feeling a lot of the external stimuli instead of real divine messages. So doing these practices, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, it would definitely enhance your intuition. The card that came out for today, whenever you're catching this video, it is I am healing. And this came from my I am that I am divine guidance cards. You can pop those on Etsy, TikTok, Instagram, and my latest book, The Bible's, the Bible's Hidden Divination and Magic. Uh, that's on Amazon, TikTok, Instagram, and Etsy. And on Etsy and TikTok, you're able, Etsy, TikTok, and Instagram, you're able to have a autograph. You're able to get an autograph for either the book and or for the Oracle deck. You can get that as a bundle if you were interested in that. So, you know, just to let you guys know. 